What is going on everyone? It is me Orange and um Today I'll be teaching you how to strength jump the way to kill a King Killer taught me how to do it and I didn't teach myself how to strength but he did. I did teach myself how to strength a long time ago. But he's the person who taught me how to strength correctly. So what you wanna do to practice is you wanna first all of you have this map. If you don't have it, no, you already you don't have this map, but you, you can do this on God of War as well. But you're gonna put it in overground, and you're gonna go TDM free for all. Doesn't matter. And diamond limit, scar limit, of course. Pretty much time you can put it on five, so it's much faster. Spectating free, so people can spectate you if you wanna. Just put these off because if someone starts killing or whatever, just put them off so they don't get any kill streaks. Ah, uh, first we just leave this alone. And I, I like putting hardcore on because it looks much better and I put the health all the way up you can put health generation on stuff like that make sure this is on done after you done uh, the hardcore thing because it's gonna go up after you click hardcore yes uh, so when I put yeah that's pretty much it so I'll see you guys when I'm in the game all right one thing I forgot is that you need to make sure you have a class with a uh, within like SMG, it can be like I like the MP5 and the AK74. You allow just put the AK74 for you, and you know, have a secondary which you want. Like I'm gonna put the I don't know the Commander Desert Eagle doesn't matter, and then have a class that has a you can put the assault rifle on. The G G36C is like it looks the best in my opinion. Just put that on as well. You can put a different secondary. You can put extreme conditioning, but I don't think it really helps. But but yeah, just make those free classes so you don't have to do anything. You can put a sniper on, I don't really like putting it. So once you're in a game, you're gonna go SAS, cause Petsnaz spawns all the way on the other side of the map, which is not a good thing, right? And you wanna pick the class with the best weapon, which is pretty much gonna be shotguns and SMGs. Basically, we're gonna make your way to the barn, and you want to make sure, this is the first thing you want to make sure, Go to your options and then go down to looking, uh, not looking, uh, vertical sensitivity and horizontal sensitivity. These two I suggest putting free on. That's what most people say, it's the best. I like two because I'm, I, I learned how to strafe on two, so I'm gonna stay with two. But make sure these two are disabled because when you're going, as you can see right now, there's nothing like I can strafe normally, but when I put the thing on, it's gonna be like, you know, it's gonna make your view go out of uh, it's gonna make your view slow down so you're gonna put those off and make sure this is like not higher than five you can do it higher than five i see people like style hits gas station 20 all three ways in a row so you can do it on 20 but it's, it's harder because you know it's it looks much better like this and not like spinning around for you know no reason and it's better to use the it's better to use kind of free because uh, you know the strafe, uh, there's like a strafe on um, ambush, it's the pat people call patio, right? Uh, Killer like showed the lineup in the video, what he shows is like, he shows like a brick here right there and then how he jumps and I think he did it with free, I'm pretty sure he did it with free because if you're on two, it's gonna take you longer to turn around so you're gonna have to move to the left a bit to the patio, but for patio there's like a hole in the middle so if you go left a bit further than that it's gonna you know make you go in the hole so that's why some strafes you need to change the sensitivity for and not just stay on the one you like because you can put it like that on four but then you have to move to left a bit because it's gonna make you spin faster so you're not gonna do it from here because your thing's gonna be faster so you're gonna do it like from closer to the edge that's pretty much what I'm trying to say so what you're going to do is you're going to go to this corner, not this one or this one, or you can do it from this. I don't, I don't know. Go to this one, right? So it's the second, right? And then you're going to do SC strafe, which is pretty much going like this. I'm spamming too much ammo. I I don't have the best pattern, but you're pretty much going to like go in a C motion. That's the C strafe, and then after that we're gonna I'm gonna teach you how to do the. Uh, console strafe which is pretty much like C strafing but just most part cut out so it's just gonna be like a part of this it's just gonna be like this whole thing cut off you have to do this you just do this and then land it so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm not gonna record my hands but I'm gonna show the controller on the screen 
and I'm gonna show the arrow just so you guys know what to do. So you're gonna pretty much turn your, uh, you're, you're gonna like start holding the spring button right up. This is if you're going left, if you're strafing left. You're gonna start holding your, um, your spring right up, and you're gonna go all the way like around the top and to left up and keep holding it there. Uh, and w at the same time, while you're doing that, you're gonna make your right analog stick. You're gonna go left up, and you're gonna go over extra circle with your thumb. And you're gonna go back to the right thumb stick and slowly move it towards the way you're going. Don't like move it as fast as you can. Like when when, when first day, you're probably gonna be like this, and then you're gonna go and like move it really fast. Like that was my problem. I was going like this, and then I was you know just turning around. Don't do that. You have to do like really slow as you can see there I'm just gonna slow that strafe down for you so you pretty much see what I'm doing I'm gonna show you once more what I'm doing so once you get comfortable doing that with the AK I'm just gonna give you a few more tips make sure when you're mid-air you keep holding your left analog step towards the way you're going don't hold it back left right hold it either right up if you're going right or left up if you're going right but keep holding it let's call air strafing and that's how I strafe my every strafe because you get much more distance. If you just do this, right? If you just do this and stop holding everything, that's not a strafe. Pe some people call it strafing. This is not a strafe. You can probably make it still, but as you can see, I didn't make it because I didn't air strafe it. You need to make sure you're air strafing it. You're always gonna make it. Not always gonna make it, but most of the time you're gonna make it. Because you air strafe because you keep holding your left or right analog stick in the way you're going. And make sure when you, that if you're going right, you just do the opposite. You go from right, le from left up on left analog stick to right up, and then with your right analog stick, you're gonna go right up over X and circle, and keep holding right up again. Come back to right up and hold it slightly, not a lot, but slightly. If you hold it a lot, you're gonna miss the, you know, the, lo the location where you're going. So there's one thing that, like. If you're on PS4, and I know some people disagree with this, but there's proof of it. So there's a poll on, on Overground. I, I don't know which poll it is. It might be that one. I don't know. It might be some other one. But there's pretty much a poll that on Xbox you can run jump, but on PS4 you have to. I, I can't remember if you strafe it or you have to RPG jump it. I'm not sure. So what I'm pretty much trying to say is Xbox has. Um, they have more frames per second and you know it for me at least it doesn't make sense you know how to pre frames per second make jump go higher or whatever but I remember back on COD 4 on PC if you pretty I can't remember what it was it could be 120 or whatever you put your, your FPS all the way up 120 you I'm pretty sure your jump would be higher and then if you put it like I can't remember 266 I, I'm just saying numbers that I remember it's probably not it if you put it up on that, it would just make you go faster. And we in PS4, I think we have better graphics, a bit better graphics, but we have, just because of that, we have less frames. People on Xbox, they have more frames, which makes their jump a bit bigger. And people have been saying it's an inch and a half, and that might not seem like a lot to some people, but for example, patio. People really fail patio because, like, they either hit the edge, they fell off, they fall off or they just go past it because they go too low so glitches like that it's gonna be much easier not much easier it's easier on PS4 on the uh, Xbox I'm sorry so if you're on Xbox it's gonna be kinda easier for you to learn how to strafe and do strafe better so once you learn how to see strafe which is this you're gonna just go over here for example and just do like a little pattern like half of it you see this is like yeah it's half of it it's got this part up pretty much gonna do this and I'll go make sure to go back to your uh, uh, what I forgot to say is uh, once you do that C shape, keep changing classes to like assault rifles and even harder uh, harder weapons. So it's like you keep practicing. You're probably not gonna make it with an RPD or whatever on the first day and I don't know if in first week, but it's gonna be better. So what you wanna do is after you've done that a few times, you wanna come here and do this little pattern, and you're gonna do the same thing you did here. You're gonna, do, you're gonna do it quicker. So over here, you we would like hold the spring button for a bit while. Now you're pretty much gonna do like this, and just imagine you have to jump up here. You pretty much gonna do like that. Just skip this whole part, and you're gonna do that here. So you're pretty much gonna, you know, do. That's pretty much uh, console strafe. 
just cut the whole part. It's not that hard. When you get used to it, it's like really easy, and it's much better than sea strafing because on sea strafing, if you're just gonna like free run like this and then keep going like this, and every time you're gonna do like a, a new whole sea strafe, it's just gonna take you like much longer, I think, to get away. It looks better. I look. I I like this look of sea strafing much better because it's like you know people getting all the way here and then you know, like tear back 20 times they go for a strafe, but like this, it's just much easier to do it. It's gonna, it might be easier for you to see strafe, but this is like much quicker because if you're just like running away from someone, you can't just be like this and then you know go for a sea strafe. It's much easier if you're just running away from someone, you just go like this, you know, you're away. If you just go for a sea strafe and just like crouch 10 times and just teabag, I don't know, and take it like 10, 10 ages to line up, you're not gonna make it. You are gonna make it, but the enemy team or like Mike, whoever, you're, whatever you're playing, the secret's gonna kill you. So that's why you should console strafe and not C strafe. If, if you're practicing, you can go for like a C strafe. That was not a C strafe. I don't know what that was. But you're gonna go for like, if you're practicing. As you can see, it's not. I'm not getting any more distance with C strafe than I'm getting with console strafe. I might not doing it the best, but pretty much it. So I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna go for another strafe and I'm just gonna put it on the screen, slow it down for you, and show you pretty much what I'm doing, guys. This for my girl, when she back at home Know the time's coming when I'll be out on the road Doing what I gotta do and stacking shows This was everything I wanted you have and to, I know you know Like, the examples I've shown, I haven't uh, crowd jumped a single one Because you don't have to crowd jump at all, it doesn't help you at all Only if you're free running, it looks better And it's easier to jump over like things if you're um, If you're uh, crowd jumping But your hitbox is still the same, so it doesn't really matter if you crouch jumping or not when you're strafing. It's much easier sometimes to just strafe it with, without crouching. So, so as you can see on the screen right now, you can see that uh, that's Jamie by the way. So shout out to my boy Jamie for helping with this. Um, you can see the first thing he did is I told him to run jump it, and as you can see, he barely got any distance. Um, the second thing is, the second thing he's done is he strafed it, but he didn't air strafe it, so he just made a C with his controller and stopped hold, like holding any thumbsticks in midair. As you can see, he, like he didn't almost make it; he was close, but he didn't make it because uh, he didn't air strafe him. So the last thing I told him to do is do an air strafe, and as you can see, he made it with no problem. So I just wanted you guys to see the difference between air strafe and run jumping and that, just so you guys know. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I wanted to say for streaming tutorial. At some parts, like at the part where I was explaining the the game settings, I said it like so quickly and quietly. They probably not gonna hear. Just copy the game settings I put, and like at some points, I try to explain the patio and how high sensitivity makes you turn around faster, so you should be closer to the edge. But just if you don't understand what I said, just ignore it. This is not, this not really that important. But I'm not gonna do the free running uh, tutorial on this video. I could, but the video is getting too long. It's like 13 minutes now, whatever. I don't even know. And um, I just wanted to thank you for watching. And I wanted to say that if this video does good, I might do a separate video, which I plan on doing. It's supposed to be the free running tutorial, which is just, it'll just be an add-on to this video. It won't be that much different in this, it'll be much shorter, it'll be like 5 minutes I think, so yeah, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you, you know, if you want to see more tutorials like this, I don't know, I can only refer any more tutorial, not much more, if you want to see tutorials like this, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.